Hello and welcome to another video here at AV Forums. This time we're taking you through our recommended picture settings for the LG 55 B6 Ultra HD 4K OLED TV. Now we should point out before we start that these settings were based on the TV sample that we reviewed and the settings might not make your picture better, they could actually make it worse. However, if you want to give them a try, then feel free. So the first thing we'll do is go into the menu system, which you can do by pressing the settings button on the remote control and holding it down. That'll take you directly into the menu system, like this. And then we go across to picture mode settings. Now there are a number of different picture modes. But we're going to be showing you settings for a nighttime setting, a daytime setting, an HDR setting, and also for a Dolby Vision setting. So we'll start off with the ISF Expert Darkroom picture mode, which is what we're going to be using for our nighttime setting. Now we've set the OLED light to 28. Uh, we found that that was more than bright enough for a comfortable viewing experience and watching TV at night in a room with um, either no ambient light or minimal ambient light. You don't want it too bright because that can be uncomfortable viewing when you're watching TV at night. So a setting of 28 should be sufficient. Contrast we set to 80. If you set it any higher than 80, then the image will start to clip. So set contrast to 80. You can set brightness and its default setting of 50. And you can also leave the horizontal and vertical sharpness controls at their default settings of 10. Color and leave it as default setting of 50. And tint you can leave it as default setting of zero. Okay, expert controls. Uh, dynamic contrast you can turn off, super resolution you can turn off, set the color gamut to normal, that's going to be closest to Rec 709, which is the industry standard for standard dynamic range content. Edge enhancer you can turn off, color filter off, gamma we're using 2.4 for our nighttime mode, and in the white balance, using the two point, um, we had the, we needed a little bit more red and a little more blue in the in the grayscale so, so we've moved up um, high red by four and we've moved up blue um, by five and that gave us very even grayscale that was all we really needed to do to get a pretty accurate grayscale so just use these two settings and see if that works for you and then in the color management system colors are very accurate actually all we needed to do was tweak a couple of little things so we went to cyan and we just tweaked tint by minus three and then we also tweaked, tweaked magenta by minus two and yellow by plus five and that gave us a very accurate color performance okay and then in the picture options noise reduction off mpeg noise reduction off black level low real cinema on motion eye care off and true motion off for any film based content true motion off uh, if you're watching things like sport you might want to experiment with using the true motion control but definitely for any film based content we always recommend leaving it off Right, uh, now moving into the Expert Bright Room mode, this is going to be our daytime setting. And uh, OLED light now is higher, 48, a brighter image for a room with more ambient light during the day when you've got sunlight in the room, things like that. So set it OLED light to 48. Uh, contrast, still leave it 80, any higher than that, again it will clip. Brightness is a little bit higher for the daytime setting, so we've set that to 54. You can still leave horizontal and vertical sharpness at the default settings of 10. Uh, color at 50, tint at 0. Expert controls, largely the same as the nighttime settings. So dynamic contrast off, super resolution off, color gamut normal, edge enhancer off, color filter off. Gamma now we're using 2.2 for a daytime setting. Uh, interestingly, the uh, grayscale was really accurate in this setting. We didn't actually have to use the two-point control at all. Uh, it was already accurate enough. So um, in this particular instance, you can leave that alone. And again, with the color management system, a little bit of tweaking color uh, for yellow is plus four for tint. And for magenta, we used minus three for tint. And then again, under picture options, as with the nighttime setting, noise reduction off, MPEG noise reduction off, black level low, real cinema on, motion eye care off, and true motion off for any film-based content. Okay, so those are our settings for the day and nighttime settings. We're now going to switch to uh, an HDR signal and we'll show you the settings for HDR. Okay, we're now sending an HDR signal. So once again, we'll go back into the menu system. And you can see now it's detected the HDR signal and we've gone into a different set of picture mode settings. We've got 
HDR Vivid, HDR Bright and HDR Standard. Now if you want an accurate HDR um, image we recommend using HDR Standard. With um, Vivid and Bright the uh, colour accuracy, particularly in terms of the colour temperature of white, is way off. So uh, use HDR Standard and then you've got OLED light at 100 and contrast at 100, brightness at 50, sharpness at 10, colour at 55, tint at 0, under the expert controls, dynamic contrast off, super resolution off, colour gamut now is wide, edge enhancer off, colour filter off, and um, that's basically it in terms of expert controls. And for picture options, noise reduction uh, should be off, and MPEG noise reduction off, and then true motion again for film based content off. Okay, that's an HDR setting. Now we're going to send a Dolby Vision signal and we'll show you some Dolby Vision settings. Now we're sending a Dolby Vision signal, so again we go back into the menu system. And as you can see this time, now it's detected a Dolby Vision signal, we've got a different set of settings. Under picture mode we've got Vivid, Movie Bright and Movie Dark. Now according to Dolby themselves, you want to use Movie Dark for the most accurate image. So Movie Dark is the one you should select. And then um, OLED Light 50, Contrast 100, Brightness 50, Sharpness 10, Color 50, Tint 0. A lot of the uh, settings are actually going to be greyed out in Dolby Vision mode anyway. So your options are fairly limited. Uh, dynamic contrast off, super resolution off. Um, you can see color gamut is grayed out. Edge enhancer off, color filter off. And then under picture options, noise reduction off and true motion off again for any film based content. And the rest of this is all grayed out. So as you can see, um, limited options as far as Dolby Vision goes. And there you have it. There you've got settings for um, a nighttime setting, a daytime setting, an HDR setting, and also for a Dolby Vision setting. Um, thanks for watching.